Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we will be covering the best Jerry, which is access to the second tab in the Cyclopedia. Each creature is grouped under a category and will be displayed as a shadow until you kill one of them. There are three stages of unlocking a creature and each stage will unlock more details until it is fully unlocked. The amount of kills required to advance the stage is dependent on a creature's rarity and difficulty. You can view how many kills are required for a creature by opening up the entry once you have killed the first one. Killing the first creature will also reveal the sprite and name. To get credit for a kill, all you have to do is damage the creature. This will allow you to work together with others to easily get credit for the kills. Each person that does any damage will have the kill count increased by 1 when the creature dies. Once you complete the first stage, you'll see the creature's hit points, speed, armor, and common loot items. The second stage will show uncommon loot items, resistances, and the locations the creature can be found. The third and final stage will display the semi-rare and rare items the creature drops. The very rare items will only display once you have looted them from the creature for the first time. The chart on screen now is obtained from TibiaWiki, which is a great site for players of any experience. You can find a link in the description. Based on the creature's difficulty and rarity, there's a set amount of kills that are required for each unlock stage. Creatures grouped in the very rare category are generally creatures that don't have a guaranteed spawn point. For example, the Midnight Panther, Undead Cave Bear, and Yeti all fall within this category. Creatures of the Harmless difficulty do not attack their target and drop no loot. These are creatures such as cats and dogs. Creatures in the trivial category are very easy and may only pose a danger to the newest of adventurers. The hardest creatures you'll find in this category are some variations of the troll. The easy category has a slightly larger range of difficulty, but you should be able to tackle most of the creatures before too long. Some of them are found in harder areas though, which may pose an issue. Creatures in this category include most variations of the orcs, minotaurs, or dwarfs. The medium category is where stuff starts to get a little weird. It does include the largest group of creatures by far, so you get a wide range of difficulty. You may be able to take on some of them as early as level 50 or sooner, while others not until you reach at least level 150 or hunt with a team. You can find creatures as easy as Cyclops, Drones, and Smiths, and as hard as Betrayed Wraiths and Hellspawns. The last difficulty of hard is as it sounds. Many of these creatures will require you to have a high level and or a team to hunt with. Also, the large amount of kills makes these a bigger commitment to get unlocked. Creatures at this difficulty level generally have a higher health pool as well, which makes charms against them more beneficial if you do manage to unlock them. Creatures in this category are things like demons and grim reapers. When you combine the difficulty and the rarity, it determines the amount of charm points that you will receive once the entry has been completed. We will cover charm points, charms, and attaching a charm to a creature in the next video. See you then.